I will not be timing this, but. And this is a Bluetooth cube, which again is kind of crazy to think about, but. That's Dana Yee. She's a Rubik's Cubing brand ambassador, and she just solved that in about 10 seconds. That's amazing. Dana will be competing in the Red Bull Rubik's Cube World Cup next weekend. Speed Cubing was in Pittsburgh last weekend. There was even a big event at the convention center last Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Well, nobody does it better than Dana Yee, and she joins us now. Dana, how did your love affair with the Rubik Rubik's Cube begin? I can't even say it, let alone <laughs> solve it. <laughs> yeah, definitely it began. I was around eight or nine years old, and I found a cube accidentally or I'm not sure, yeah, I found it accidentally in the basement. And at the time, YouTube was becoming super popular. And I think I was fascinated by the colors and the sort of 3D intricacy of the puzzle. So I learned to solve it. And then I guess it's just sort of been a, a snowball of getting more interested, meeting new people, and getting super excited about solving the cube. That's why I never thought like meeting new people through solving a Rubik's cube. So mm -hmm. do you, you have a jumbled cube with you now. We have our cubes here. Um, so mm -hmm. could you solve it for us live on the air? Yes, I will try to. Okay. Hopefully, this doesn't go too badly. But I feel like we need some like. I know music. some <laughs> exciting music. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's incredible! And I mean, this is really like good for your brain. I would yes. think. Look at those fingers! Yeah. Oh my wow. gosh! I, I, I think she beat. I think she solved. beat the record. Yeah. So <laughs> can you can you give us some tricks or tips on how you did that? Mm -hmm. So uh, I can't teach someone how to solve in two minutes, but I think one thing that is really sort of blew my mind when I understood it is that your first intuition when you solve the cube is to solve it by faces. Oh. By faces. Right? Okay. But if you, yeah, if you actually look at the cube, it's made up of three layers and that's one of the most common ways to solve it. So let me just set it up really quickly. So for example, in one of the most common methods, the first step is to do the first layer like this, because if you try and solve it face by face, you actually won't be able to do it. Okay. All right. So I've jumbled my cube here. I, I feel like I will never get it back, but you said it's all about like aligning the faces. Mm -hmm. So that's actually the first intuition, but you actually want to solve it by layers. Uh -huh. oh. So if you note the name, yeah, if you note the name of the cube, it's a three by three by three. So three layers by three layers by three layers. And in the method that I use to solve it, the goal is to solve layer by layer. So this, for example, is the first layer. Oh. oh are you having any luck over there, Daisy? No, you know what I would do? I'm an 80s baby, definitely grew up with Rubik's Cube, but I would take the stickers off and just mm. switch them around. That's how. Oh, is that like a, I don't <laughs> know, is that easier. cheating? It's so, <laughs> totally cheating. I don't recommend that. So but. Dana, so there's <laughs> all different types of cubes too, right? Do you compete with mm -hmm. different different styles? I do. So, for example, there's like four by four, five by five. They go up to seven by seven. And then one nice. that I really enjoy, it's called the Megaminx, and it's a dodecahedron or twelve-sided puzzle. Wow, that that sounds. Oh incredible. yeah. Okay. Well, we're really excited for you. We're rooting for you. We know you're competing next weekend. So good yes. luck, and I have full faith in you. And maybe I can get this figured out by sometime yes. next year. <laughs> Yes, bring home the right. World Thank Cup. Thank you very much. <laughs> good luck. Yes, right. I'll do my best. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dana. And good luck in the World Cup next week. Yes, yeah. yes. Now, again, the Rubik's Cube World Cup is December 3rd and 4th. For more information on Dana and the competition, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. I just want to play around with this for a little <laughs> bit. All right, coming up, Selena's taking us to the 2,000-acre park of Ogilvy. It just may be the most hidden holiday gem of our area. Mm -hmm. She's showing us what's new at the Wheeling West Virginia Resort. Find out how you can grab some of that seasonal magic next.